I hope you're good. This is my friend Giles from the CRT. Um, we are out on a wet and windy flotilla. It's been a while since a group of us from the Moorings have been out as a group. So my neighbour Christine has arranged this trip. We're doing an overnight to Limehouse and we thought it would be good to show some of our new members the unique lock at Carpenter's Road. We start by turning right out of our moorings onto Waterworks River, which will take us through the Olympic Park up to Carpenter's Road Lock. I've been joined today by two lovely volunteers from the CRT, Giles, who we met earlier, and Richard. The lock is just up on the left, past the phallic sculptures. The bridge you can see in the distance marks the end of the navigation. All of the rainwater from further up the lee runs off through there and into this river. The flow was a lot stronger than we'd anticipated. I'm just dropping off Giles and he's going to operate the lock for us. The lock is only big enough for two narrow boats at a time, so once we're through, I'll wait on the other side and pick jars up. Carpenter's Road Lock is the only lock in Britain, and perhaps the world, with rising radial gates at both ends. You can see these starting to work now. The lock was built between 1933 and 34. It was originally called Ward Lock after a local councillor, but the name didn't last very long. I made a video a while back about the history of the Bowback Rivers, and how Carpenter's Road Lock fell into disrepair by the 1970s. You should definitely check it out. The next boat is coming through now, and if you look closely, you can see a fish falling out of the lock and landing on the roof. In 2002, funding was secured to restore the lock and it was meant to open in time for the 2012 Olympic Games. However, a temporary bridge was built here instead and the lock didn't open again until last year. I've also got a video of when a group of us passed through the lock shortly after it reopened. You should definitely check that one out too. Okay, we're through. I'm gonna let the other boat out first. I'm gonna wait here for Giles and we will catch everybody else up in Limehouse. We're now cruising past the Olympic Stadium. For those of you who haven't watched my videos before, that sculpture there was built for the Olympics as an art piece, but it is now also a giant helter skelter. This river is City Mill River and will join us up with City Mill Lock, which is the usual way in and out of our mooring. And now we are on St Thomas's Creek 
before turning left to join the Limehouse Cut. Giles told me that the Limehouse Cut is actually the oldest canal in London, which I didn't know that before. On the left hand side used to be Three Mills Back River, but unfortunately over the years that's been filled in. Here we are about an hour after setting off and we're a two minute walk from my moorings. I do love canal time. It was a cold and wet day. Autumn is definitely giving way now to winter, but these Egyptian geese didn't seem to mind. Unlike this other creature. Here's the old dog biscuit factory, and this puppy was a bit happier now that she had her hat on. It was only lunchtime, but it was already getting dark. The colours around the canal were just beautiful though. Check out this wooden boat. It's just gorgeous. We've arrived safely now at Limehouse. Thank you so much to Richard and Giles for the company and for Giles steering the boat, allowing me to get some wonderful footage. He's a professional boat mover, in case you didn't know. Okay, we're securely double moored and off to the pub for a well-earned drink. This is the first night that I've spent on the boat away from the moorings. And it's not that weird, but it's strange being double moored onto someone. We had a lovely cruise up here, if a bit wet. And we've got a really early start in the morning, so I need to get some sleep. I'll see you then. Hey, my engine's just stopped then it cuts out so I'm thinking, I don't know if it might have overheated it, there's a lot of smoke coming out.